Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. We've got a special blog for you today. Um, we do the live streams a lot. We do giveaways for $50 gift cards. And I'm often asked, what are my favorite products in the shop? Because you can use your $50 gift cards that you win in the giveaways for the deals, but you can also use it in the shop. And also if you have any rewards money stacking up, what should you spend it on in the shop? So I'm going to talk about five plus one of my favorite uh, products in the shop. So before we get started checking these out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you know when we go live with videos, giveaways, freebies, and great deals just like this. All right, so let's start by playing a demo with all of these products. Well, first, I guess I should tell you what they are. Um, so we have a variety of different instruments here. I know not all of you own the full version of Contact, so I tried to also include um, some that would be standalone plugins or for the free Contact player or a totally different engine altogether, like this one, which is called Epic World by Eduardo Terralante. Um, this runs in the engine, the best service engine 2. And I've got a few patches there. This is a really nice ethnic library with some amazing atmospheric pads as well as some tonal instruments and phrases so we'll check each of these out individually after we play through all of them together the second one is going to be called arpology from sample logic uh, cinematic dimensions it's a really nice arpeggiator and fairly deep sample library um not focus only on arpeggios but obviously that's the kind of the main focus here and we have four cores here that we can morph between just like all of the other or the majority of the other sample logic products then i have largo which is a synthesizer from waldorf then i have mystica and cantus which are two choir libraries from best service eduardo terralante again just like epic world um these two are basically partner libraries. They go very well together, of course, but um, they are separate purchases, but I kind of lump them together. So they are just male and female versions of a very similar style choir. Then I have Barrage from Hidden Path Audio, which is a really nice epic percussion library. Get some huge epic trailer percussion, some Hans Zimmer type percussion there. And then finally, the plus one here is Audict Angel Strings. Um, I wanted to add some strings in here. And again, all of these are available in our shop. So if you have rewards points, you can reduce these down to the base price. So you can get pretty big discounts on these right now if you have some rewards. So let's check out the track and then we'll talk about each of the instruments and how I use them. All right, so fairly epic style track there with a mix of the ethnic atmosphere, so a bit of a classical sounding choir here, and then finishing it off with, um, you know, some of that crazy epic percussion and everything. So let's take a look at the instruments here. So here we have Epic Worlds. How I used this was just loaded up one of the drones. If we look here, 
these are all of the sounds included. So we have ambiences and then instruments and voices. So the ambiences are going to be just these really, really complex sounds where you can just hold a key and it really evolves and just adds in instant atmosphere. So you can hear there's a lot of different sounds going on there and you are able to blend between the high drone, mid drone, low drone, and then those noises. So you can kind of customize it. So you hear those kind of like textured noises that come in. Just the mid drone here. So this library still to this day is just one of the best I've ever used at instantly adding a very epic world vibe. Sounds very exotic. It's not, you know, typically used in our modern kind of European or American classical or orchestral music, but it's amazing to really get an instant atmosphere. We also have some instruments and voices here. So we have these phrases here. We also have tuned instruments, you know, drums, ensembles, all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of really cool stuff. So let's kind of go in and just hear a little bit of the different sounds because there are so many. So every one of these Eduardo Terralante libraries um, for best service, I mean, there is just, there are so many good sounds. Um, I mean, I could literally go on just for hours, just focusing on this one. So I'm just going to isolate the instances I did use in this specific track, just to hear them on their own. So we have this one kind of voice sound. I use some... Uh, phrases, some flute phrases, and then that one pad that I initially showed you. Thank you. 
So you can hear it just adds so much um, atmosphere to that. Let's go on and go on to our Apology. So the cool thing about this one is that we can load up four different sounds here and morph between the four using this XY pad. You can also kind of automate this pad and then So you get the idea for that one. It's, um, very rhythmic. It can be very percussive. It can also be really nice and melodic. And again, it's going to focus on those arpeggios. So I used a three instances in this track. This one was just one that I duplicated to show off the presets. So these three in the track sound like this. If I isolate each one there. So you kind of get that side chain bass type sound. And this one playing the exact same key, the C1. So obviously, instead of arpeggios, those are just single notes, which are serve very well as some kind of nice bass pulses. And then here we have some arpeggios. And then we go back to the low bass pulse here. So if we add in Epic Worlds to this, so this is now just Epic World and the instances of our apology, we get this.
So already just using two, <laughs> two instruments or two different libraries, Epic World and Arpology, we have a really nice kind of ambient, dark texture and uh, kind of brooding pulses for that. Okay, let's check out Largo now. This one is a lot of fun. It's a really in-depth synth. Of course, there are a few presets, but I think the most fun is when you just kind of tweak the sound. So let's check that out a bit. ton of possibilities there but I mean the synth really has this unique character um, that I really like I mean it's kind of just kind of weird in the distortion I mean the the overdrive there it just gives it a unique sound that I haven't heard with many other synths and there are only 100, 128 presets but as you can see the list of you know waveforms that you can load up there's quite a few, so it's really fun for sound design, and it's also a really fun way to learn synthesis, even if you're just kind of randomly twisting knobs, like I was just doing. You get some really cool sounds. So how I used it in the track, uh, just fairly basic stuff, but let's check it out.
So you can see my mod wheel automation there opens up the sound as I bring that up. Okay, next we have Cantus and Mystica, which are both choir libraries. They do have legato, so you get nice legato transitions if you want to play that way. The way I used it though was playing chords. I turned off the solo there so you can play chords and it will pronounce the word which you can select with these green key switches there. So they also have other instruments here. They have um, some phrases for both the male and the female. So the male choir sounds like this. I mean, it sounds very churchy, you know, kind of like a religious choir, classical monk type sound, Gregorian chants. So I use those together playing the exact same key switches, and they say the exact same words, depending where you press the key switch. So there we have Christo, right there, same words. So they go very well together. So a really beautiful sound there. You can see down here are the key switches where they changed each word. So again, exact same key switches for each library and they say the exact same words, which is really nice. And then finally, let's check out Barrage. This is a really epic percussion library. I know we've talked about most of these before, but again, I love them so much. I think they all deserve a further look. <laughs> So here's Barrage. This is what it's called the Ensemble Designer, where you can just click each of these and it loads up different drums. We can just load them all up for that huge epic sound. We used to have um, accents here. You can see that snare. Now it's snare and metals, effects hits, and cymbals. So there's a variety of different sounds you can put, and the tails are here in the yellow. And then finally there's a sub layer. So let's kind of check this out, just the instances of Barrage here, because I used a lot of those. And then later on, I use not the Ensemble Designer, but the solo instruments, which would be here. <laughs> so this is just a solo Tycho. So you get a more, you know, intimate close-up sound. And they have a variety of those solo drums. If we look, single drums, we have these different drums here. So it can get fairly small and intimate, but I like it for the big epic percussion stacks like this. Thank you. 
And then finally, as the plus one, I used Audict Angel Strings here, the long notes, just to add some strings to that kind of bridge section here. And again, use modulation there. So, if you wanted to know what are some of my favorite products in the shop, here they are, and here is what you can do using only products available in the shop. And remember, if you have rewards, you can reduce the price quite a bit all the way down to the base price, which will differ depending on the product. So, happy holidays, and go make some music.